Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is December 14, 2022. Hope you're all doing well. In today's segment, we'll take a look at the market and look at my favorite strategy when there is a big downturn in the market. Look, Fed spoke and look what happened. At around 2 p.m. or so, stock market dropped. So we got Fed raising the rates by 50 basis points. That's why market came tumbling down. But look, it's been recovering slightly. That's a good news here. Nasdaq also came down and S&P 500 also came down. And in this type of market here, when the big Fed news is out um, and most of the bad news is out, it's always great to trade um, ETFs like Nasdaq, SPY and IWM, which is Russell 2000, and you can also uh, you know buy call option on SPX, NDX, IWM also, uh, or even uh, Russell 2000. So that's exactly what we'll look at today. How do we buy call option when the market drops like this? What are the things that we got to look out for? Without further ado, let's go into my favorite platform, which is uh, TradeTix.com. Look, we got TradeTix.com here. I brought up uh, SPY. In today's segment, let's take a look at SPY. You could apply the same philosophy for SPX, QQQ, IWM, and so on and so forth. Look, what I've done is really I brought up the chart here of SPY. I selected 15 minutes time frame or 30 minute time frame here. So we get a couple of days. And from a Greek level, I put my favorite Greek level, which is the gamma exposure Greek level here, and selected all. And I also selected dark pool level here, dark pool level on a bi-weekly basis. So that's the you know, starting point here. Look, what we can see here is we got a nice support level. Look at this uh, red level here at around, at around 399 or so. There's a nice solid red level here. And that's the good support. Look, this is our level I'm talking about great support level here right now it's acting as a resistance as you can see here but uh, price went above that but closed below so tomorrow i can see uh, stock getting uh, spy reaching 400 and probably tries to try it will try to go higher look we got a nice dark pool level here at, at uh, 398 this can also act as a great support we got 460 million spy bought at this level great support level here so with the dark pool support level and a great gamma exposure level i can see spy going above this level given uh, the the news is out the fed is ra fed has raised the rate by 50 basis point which is almost known for everybody but still market freaked out as you can see here we got a nice drop around 2 pm as you can see here so look from a seasonality perspective uh, generally december is pretty okay for spy look we got a nice bounce here but January is not, not so great. Look, January typically it came down. So that's why December, as you go into the holidays, you could uh, see these indices going slightly higher. That's why it's a great time to buy some SPY. You know, or you, any of these indices, a great time to buy some call option and make some money there. And we'll go into SPY uh, call option here. I love this, uh, you know, the dashboard from tradetix.com here. They kind of, you know, give you a, a very good details in a nice, uh, beautiful fashion. Look from a, you know, ETF perspective, stock came down as you can see here. But look what's going on here. We got Algo Flow here. Algo Flow is basically net of uh, calls and put premium here. Look. Folks are buying, uh, you know, stocks are buying the options here. That's why premium is positive. As you can see at the top here, even though SPY came down, today we got net premium here. That tells you folks are buying calls and folks are selling puts. Uh, so that way there's a bullish premium here. That's what is going on here. All right, next uh, quick thing you can look at is this net flow here. Net flow will tell you the red is put and the green is a uh, call. Look, call is about put that tells you today, even though market dropped, uh, you know, look at the white line, which is market dropping, 
call call buyers are buying they know the news about the fed rate, fed rate is out they're taking advantage of this big drop here and buying some call option and look we also have some put option buyers which is the usual some folks are worried about the market they put buy put option but overall there is more call option buying that's what is indicated by this net flow all right next big thing here is really look today we got uh, from an open interest perspective we got more put open interest call open interest is slightly low today but from a volume perspective we got uh, you know today almost same volume between call and put all right next we'll look at open interest here look a lot of people are buying up uh, put options in spy and hedging themselves pretty well here even at 381 376 and so on so forth the moment retail traders like us buy put option you know what happens the market maker or the dealer they have to sell you know they have to sell put options to them so market maker because they're selling the put option they are bullish because they're bullish they have to hedge and they have to basically short some stock here so that's why market maker is short they're shorting the stock um, and as the market goes higher they have to cover their shorts that will that will basically increase and uh, that will make the market go even higher because at, as market goes higher they have to cover their short and they will basically um, you know basically cover and buy spy that's how it's set up right now all right next main thing is i, I want to cover very quickly this dealer greek build up here this is again one of my favorite sections of uh, tradetix.com what this is telling you is really dealer or the market maker they're sitting on the positive delta as you can see here <clears throat> as more and more people are you know buying put option what market maker is doing is they're selling the put options to them so what that tells you is really they have to short because they're bullish market maker is bullish by selling put option that tells you they have to they have to basically short the spy itself and as market goes higher they have to cover their short that's about the delta anytime there is a positive delta that tells you market maker is uh, sitting on some of these uh, you know positive delta so that's why you, you got to be slightly careful typically when there is a positive delta there will be also positive gamma as you scan through here let's uh, click on the gamma here look we are also on the positive gamma so the moment we have positive gamma like the old saying goes you can basically um, you know whenever there's a pullback here you buy the pullback and uh, you know buy the dip and sell the rip as they say that's the old saying whenever gamma is positive you could uh, you could buy the dip and sell the rip so that's why today we had a good dip here that could be a good time to buy as market goes higher you can sell the rip here that's why it's uh, that's how it's set up here that's why i love to look at the delta and more importantly gamma because gamma explosion as you know as positive as there is a positive gamma you could uh, you know you could basically go through the strategies like buying the dip and selling the rip all right now let's jump in here and look at a few more things here look um, we got a dealer here dealers are dealers are sitting on positive delta as we talked about earlier um, so that's why dealer is bullish they have to basically hedge and uh, have some short uh, stock positions here and as you look through here we got um, gamma exposure levels this is one of my favorite here as you see here we got uh, 381 there is a big gamma exposure level here that's way below as you can see here and we are right here right now around uh, 390 look we got, you know there is also slightly bigger level uh, right here this is at uh, 400 so as of now there's a very good uh, gravitational pull um, stock uh, e e spy can be pulled towards towards 400 level here this is a very good uh, gamma exposure level right here i think the way it's set up is uh, probably it will be you know spy will uh, gravitate towards 400 mark pretty soon 
all right so with this uh, let's uh, go in here and we can look at some of these charts probably i will uh, skip this it's um, not very important here so what we'll do is uh, we could also look at this very quickly here look uh, the moment you see uh, correlation here look the gamma exposure level is very very low right now 0 0.054 still is positive as you see here whenever there is a gamma exposure level around 0 0.05 which is the the orange uh, dot right here that tells you um, you know stock probably will might move on the higher side more look we got uh, stock moving higher side little more than the lower side that's, that's why the next day the returns could be on the positive side here indicated by you know these uh, dots on the top here which are a little bit wide apart whereas the dots on the bottom here which they are close to the uh, the orange dot here that's why you know that we might see some good day uh, as we go forward given this big news about the fed rate hike is done all right so with that we'll jump in here and go to my favorite uh, platform which is thinkorswim look in thinkorswim here i brought up spy here which is um, you know my favorite index or a favorite etf here you could do same thing for spy qqq iwm so look i've already initiated a position here and look there is a nice and high open interest at uh, right here look 43 43000 open interest at uh, 390 and i'm also looking at 37 days out so that we have got some more days here as there is a holiday season coming along there will be some uh, slow slow drift on the higher side here at the same time i don't want to buy too much out of the money here my delta as you can see here is 0.68 that tells you uh, you know because there's a nice delta here that tells you um, the stock will not lose too much money you know for uh, for the theta decay here that's why you know whenever market drops big time like this and uh, when the gamma is positive you should take advantage and uh, buy the dip here you know you could do the same thing in uh, qqq and iwm look i've also looked at uh, iwm here and qqq and you know that did something similar here look as we look at the iwm here same thing look it's a uh, 37 days out as you can see here and what i've done is um you know went ahead and uh, you know bought initiated a position right here look we got a nice uh, open interest here at 175 nice 34000 open open interest as you can see here and the the delta is uh, the delta is 0 0.67 which is pretty good here and i also have you know one more here just by looking at the open interest here look there is a lot of open interest at uh, 180 strike here 55k open interest and right now stock price is uh, you know just at 180 here this could be a good one if you want to buy a little bit cheaper look it's just uh, six dollars or 593 depending on how you want to buy it so this could be for the folks who want to buy a little cheap here but normally i tend to go towards a little bit higher delta around 70 or so is my sweet spot and i typically go uh, around 30 days out and you could do same thing for you know qqq here and you could buy you know same similar around delta 70 or so look we got qqq here and look we got right here um we got jan 23 as you can see here and um, you could go right here and look at the open interest level as usual look around here we got nice and high open interest 19000 as you can see here and the reason i went for this is i wanted the delta to be delta to be slightly high we got 0 0.71 delta here that tells you don't you will not lose too much money for the theta decay here at the same time as market goes higher you'll make some money here that's why i chose this one but for the day devils you could also look at this one here there is a nice uh, nice and high open interest at 280 and this is also delta 64 you could do this also this is also good here given op open interest is very high
So with that, in a nutshell here to summarize, uh, when the Fed is done increasing the rates, and if the rate hike is, uh, is what is expected, um, you could look at the gamma levels here. When the gamma levels are positive, don't worry too much. You know, buy the dip, as they say, and hold the option for a couple of days here. You could make some nice returns. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.